and welcome to my end of the turn of Roybu's Rise. This is pretty much summing up what I did in my turn. Then if you actually want to watch the super exciting building action, go watch the other, like, two hours, I believe? So, what happened this, in this turn? Well, I, I did a mostly building and decorating and a, and a little bit of expanding, as you can see by here, but I'll get to that in a minute. I started the tiling the floor of the hallway because I had an idea. It's entirely up to someone else as to whether they want to continue this idea for the other different um, workshops. But what I had the idea is here. There is two stone cutters, two stone masons, and then the stone carver, and then two sawmills, two carpenters, and then a wood carver. And in fact, I'm going to put the other sawmill down right now. They are being made out of birch and basalt. As you can see, a sawmill is not actually produced because I move them from here, but all it is is just pine and birch that you just need to set up. I already set up... Well, there isn't anything in stonemasons, but I already set up the stone cutters. This one is cutting from top to the bottom of the list. I didn't put granite in because we haven't found a whole lot of it. And this one is doing from bottom to the top. So that way it makes sure that you... If you're working with multiple blocks, it will make sure that your work... that you're, they're making multiple blocks, so they can all be worked with. This is just cleaning up all of the various junk that was in the, in the floor after it was picked up. And this back here is the stockpile. I just gave it a stockpile just to t say that this is where the stocks are going to be. You can do... You can manage it however you want. You can cut it up into different sections, like this is for logs, this is for planks, this is for sticks, so on and so forth. I just did that to show that that's what it's supposed to be. I didn't do a whole lot with this, I just finished the bed that was here. We have plenty of grain, as you can see it's 140 and we've only gone through a season when we had like near zero, I think. Can't quite remember, maybe it was like 30 or 40. But I expanded the grain, the wheat farm, so we have plenty of grain, we have plenty of straw, we could probably even afford to expand the yak pasture. And the commander? right here has everything equipped but a breastplate and Drago Ken has his full equipped he's on taunt specifically because we haven't been finding anything that is too dangerous for a copper clad taunting gnome to handle the bruisers are still the same they have two axes and no armor this is getting done right down here in the mines I didn't do anything on this layer I actually yeah I I or was it on this layer no it was on this layer I cut it up a bit more didn't find a whole lot besides some copper over here and then I dug down another layer because we had mostly exhausted this one absolutely nothing but coal and they have been doing a very poor job at stockpiling I edited some of the jobs so the people who don't have a whole lot to do like the armor smith and the weapon smith and the smelter go haul things before they build to make sure that things are hauled even while we have a large building order being done. For example, this thing took a hell of a long time. This thing took almost the entire season to do. 
But down here, I have made this little alternating pillar thing, as you can see. In fact, you need to make the last, uh... Apparently the last bauxite pillar just to finish this off. And I put in some bauxite statues on either end. I finished off the blocks in the back over here. I kind of had an idea of putting a central thing in here that was kind of like a circle wall for like a special addition to the dining hall. It would still be part of the dining hall, but it would look extra fancy like it was for the ambassadors and merchants and stuff like that. And it would carve in right here, but whichever, whatever you want to do. I didn't do a whole lot here. I didn't really manage the stockpiles too much. We had two goblin attacks, both of which, out of both, they only had one bronze-clad guy, and there was only three fighters as a result, so it was fairly easy. And by the bronze-clad guy, I mean he had a bronze breastplate and, like, axe, and that's about it. So it really wasn't that difficult. But as you can see, I moved those workbenches to just be placed over here. I already have the carpenter set up to make the last two chairs that are needed and I have them creating the the uh, tables here for the other marketplace which someone is going to have to make the other ambassador's quarters because this is the ambassador for the merchant state. Now, with the Merchant State, I traded most of our bone, actually all of our bone statuettes from our various animals away for some additional copper. So we have plenty of copper at the moment, but here's the key. I decided to not do any plans with it because I'm not sure if we should start building bronze or not, like whether the next person wanted to clad the bruisers in copper so I left it up to you as to whether it would be whether you'd save that copper to make bronze or whether you just go out and make copper armor by the way apparently all right I never <laughs> god dang itself I built a prospector there no wait this is this is a smelter what the hell Apparently, it's full of slivers that they have not done jack all with. Uh, the forge. Where's the forge? I'm going to make. Tell the forge to make metal sliver bars right now. Just on repeat for now, just to get those out of the way. I was wondering why those were sitting there. As you can see, there is a few bronze slivers, and there is plenty of copper slivers, and there is, like, four copper weapons over there. In fact, so much so. Well, that's the graveyard. I feel kind of, feel kind of awkward if I put them over there. You know what? This temp metal will hold slivers. There we go. Because it's the temp metal, so I feel okay. But that is really about the extent of what I did. I mostly put most of my work into this section right here. My idea was to continue it down here with the hallway down here and have it connect back down to this area right here and maybe have a floor below to make similar areas like this one. I need a drink. I didn't think to take a drink before I started this. <clears throat> that feels better. But I kind of like the idea of different areas like this. So there would be, like, one for the tailoring, the bone carving, and the leather working. And then there would be one for all of the metalworking stuff. That includes, like, engineering. And then there would be, actually, the one that's like bone carving and leather working. As that is working with animals, it would probably have the dis the people who 
like the distillery and the food and stuff. Which reminds me, drinks are fairly low for the one reason that we only have a single provisioner. We do not have a chef and we do not have a, per uh, have a brewer. And I didn't get any gnomes. Sad face. So, drinks have really always been a problem. So, if you want to get the drinks higher, I would suggest fiddling with the jobs a little bit. But we have a well right here. And I think we have another one somewhere in the fort. Yeah, right over... Ba -ba -da -ba -da, over here. So, we have plenty of water. For now. But if you really want the gnomes to be able to drink wines, I would suggest possibly playing around with the jobs a little bit. And, most importantly, nobody died under my watch. All we have is these two right here, who died not on my watch. And I am extremely happy about such. However, that is about the sum up, which is like 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I am really bad at summing things up. But I'd leave this to the next person. So until then, next person. See you later, I guess. I was going to say see you later, but that feels kind of awkward. On to the next person.